Hello, welcome. Good morning. Bienvenidos. My name is Nicole and I will be your instructor today. We have a very fun class. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the chat. Also, we'd like to talk a lot in this class. So if you want, you can raise your hand. There's a little button at the bottom of your screen that raises your hand. And if I'm going too fast, slow me down. But let's see who's here. I see Cade. Good morning, Cade. Good morning, Natalina. Hey, Max. How's it going? Oh, is that you, Charlotte? And Jude, too? Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming. I want to start the morning off with a moment of gratitude. Let's thank Northgate, Nestle Abuelita, and Degardi for bringing us together, for providing this service for the community, for us to have this moment to celebrate El Mes del Niño. We have, you know, just an abundance of gratitude. So thank you. Speaking of El Mes del Niño, we will be giving away two baskets today in this class. So stay tuned. You know, make sure that you are active in the chat. Um, but our baskets are filled with books from little libros and snacks from Snapple and Degardi and Nestle Abuelita. But not only that, there's tablets. Two tablets will be given away to learn for school or to play games so it's up to you we want to have a lot of fun and hey yeah yeah good morning liz um little libros is awesome and speaking of little libros where is my little libro today we're celebrating selena and i'm sure mostly everybody knows who selena is if you don't she was a singer from texas and she loved to eat pizza and her songs are celebrated all over, especially here in the United States and in Mexico. And she also loved sweets, like who doesn't love sweets, right? So today we are going to join pizza and sweets together for a Como La Flor dessert pizza. So let's get started. First, let's preheat our oven to 400 degrees. How about that? So go ahead, I'm preheating mine now. Go ahead and preheat yours. Do we have any questions yet? Okay. Let's bitty bitty bomb bomb with this show. So let me get my mixer going. I printed out the recipe so that I can work right alongside you. And we're going to start, we preheated our oven, we're going to start with one third cup of butter. And I like to use room temperature butter. I, I, this is about five and a half tablespoons of butter. So just go ahead and drop that into your mixer. And we're going to, this process is called creaming. So I also have a half a cup of sugar and I'm just gonna add that right in. I measured it last night, but now for the fun part. This is the Gardi Jello and we're gonna use it in grape flavor since Selena's favorite color was purple. Well, we think it was her favorite color because you know she's famous for wearing that beautiful purple outfit that sparkles, but we're going to use four tablespoons of the Degardi Jello and purple. So we are going to make our crust with this. And I'm just going to go ahead and shove my spoon right into the package and measure out four tablespoons. Good morning, everybody. And to help our little cooks, I just put the recipe in the chat for their parents. Perfect. Okay, so that was four. And 
And I'm gonna cream these ingredients together. And if you have a mixer, I highly recommend using your mixer. If you don't, then you can always do it by hand or if you have a hand mixer, but here we go. I'm gonna start off slow because I don't want my jello and my uh, sugar to just explode all over the room. And it's so, it's so crazy because as it's mixing, I can literally feel the sugar and the gelatin in my mouth. And it's not even in my mouth yet, but the little particles have, have come into my, into my, onto my tongue. Even though I guess it would be kind of funny if we did blow up all of this sugar and, and gelatin all over the place, right? Like, I don't think our, I don't think your mom would think that's very funny, but <laughs> I, I wouldn't think it was funny. Would you like that then? Then if your kids were just throwing sugar all over the place. Well, I don't like it, but when they cook, they do that kitchen. Oh my gosh. Yeah, my son, definitely my son too. He gets like, I, I tell him, okay, let me, let me help you. Let's get messy fun, right? Right, Liz? I agree. All right. So it looks like, it looks like the mixture is pretty much creamed. I'm going to bring up the feed just slightly. Now that it's mixed together, I'm going to just say, let me see. There we go. Bring it up slightly so that it can really combine. And while that's combining, I'm gonna go ahead and crack an egg in a bowl. I like to I like to crack the egg ahead of time in a separate bowl just so we don't get shells in our cookie. So So I have my egg in a bowl, and I'm also going to measure out the vanilla extract right into my egg bowl, just so we don't overpour nothing. There we go. Oh, I can hear Selena playing in the background. Can you all hear that? Okay. So here we have that. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that in. And then continue to mix. Does Nagari give this mixture such a pretty color? I'm sure if you're cooking along with me. Who's cooking along with me? Raise your hand in the chat if you're cooking along. Okay. But this really gives such a pretty color. Liz is cooking along with you today. Yay. Thank you, Liz. All right, let's see. And scrape down the sides. What's the question? Was there a question? No. Was my Selena song? Oh God, I like. Um, I think I like Amor Prohido. I mean, I would sing it for you, but it would make my son cringe. <gasps> and he says that's so cringy. All right, I'm gonna continue mixing this. I just, 
I like to scrape the sides to just make sure that everything's getting evenly distributed. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. That's all mixed. Now let's measure out some. Can I just move this back for me slightly, please? Thank you. Sorry about that noise. Okay, so let's measure out our dry ingredients in a separate bowl and I'd like to do is show you how to measure out your flour. I know a lot of people will just like dig right into the package of flour with their with their measuring cup. We are going to use a cup and a half of flour. So the way you're supposed to so that way you don't have an overabundance of flour in your recipe whenever you're making cookies or cake is you're supposed to scoop the flour into the measuring cup instead of the instead of scooping the cup into the flour you scoop the flour into the cup so that you don't get a hard a hard amount of flour it's sort of like loose and airy and you want to just go a little bit over and and make sure that it's evenly distributed and then take a knife and just scrape across the top. So that is a half a cup. Let's do two more of those. Okay. All right, one more. Then another scrape across the top. And we got one more little, well, I don't know if you're using a cup and an actual half a cup, then you're probably done, but I'm using a half a cup so that I could really show how to measure oh, your flour. And I, I think use, working with flour is one of my favorite things. Um, to make like bread and cakes and cookies, like all the yummy stuff or pasta or progies. I mean, the list goes on and on of what you use flour for, but it's one of my favorite ingredients to use. And most of the time I'm covered in it. Okay, so we got our bowl of flour. Now I am going to take, now I'm gonna take a half a teaspoon of baking soda and add that in and a half a teaspoon of salt and add that in. Oh, I hate when the salt gets stuck. It's, I'm using a natural salt and it just will not behave if, if it's not being shaken up. And then let's whisk it just if you give it a whisk, then it evenly distributes the salt and the baking soda throughout the flour and you don't have a clump just stuck there. So this is always a good way to mix your dry ingredients ahead of time before mixing them with your wet ingredients, just so that everything's equally distributed. Do I have any questions? No. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my flour into the butter and sugar mixture. All right. There we go. So, and start it off on slow so that, again, the flour doesn't fly all over the room. I just got slightly nervous looking at the time. I'm like, oh no, but I think we have plenty of time still. Do you have any questions? 
Not so far. That's your name. Okay, so now this is up to you, but I want to enhance my purple color just a little bit more. So I'm going to add a little bit of this purple food coloring to my cookie dough. You could do this. This is optional. Or you, you can pass if you don't want to do this. But I'm going to go ahead and add that. Did you hear my oven is telling me we're at 400 degrees now? Hey, Mama, we're at 400 degrees. I hear you. All right. So let's see what this purple food coloring does to my cookie mixture. If you don't put the purple food coloring, it'll just turn like your cookies will be like a light lilac color. I want the, I want the, I want the crazy purple. Ooh, it's coming together so pretty. It's like the, it's like the, a real regal purple. It's the Selena purple. Okay, perfect. Do you know of another artist that is known for the color purple who just had a birthday, re uh, had the anniversary of his passing? And oh, last weekend was Selena's birthday too. Yep, yep, Prince, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's see. Okay. So here is my very, very purple cookie dough. You can see from the last design. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think that's, that had a lot to do with like some legal issues, but okay. So here we have our purple dough and it is super pretty super pretty this color okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use i'm going to use it looks like an ice cream scoop but what it is is it's a cookie it's a cookie dough scooper and this measures out to about a tablespoon and a half and you can either use one of these if you have it in your house or you could just use a heaping tablespoon of cookie dough so what i like to do is get my area ready let me just get rid of some of this stuff And I'm going to go ahead and scoop out the cookie dough. You see that? It's just perfect. And roll it into a ball. And then once it's rolled into the ball, I'm going to just dump it in this sugar. Super pretty. And there you have it, right? Put it on, put it on your cookie sheet. And with a cup, I'm just gonna smash it down to about a half an inch width. And it's really soft. It's like a really easy to use Play-Doh. 
Um, and that's that's the center. That's the center of our flower. You see that? And now we're gonna do it with six more little cookie cookie balls all around it to form our flower. So let's keep going. And this recipe should make, I'd say it makes two two flowers or two pizzas or two cookie crusts. Um, and then you can make just like a regular circle one with whatever is left over, or you can freeze it for another time. But whoever came up with the idea of jello cookies is just so genius. I love it. Okay. Do we have any questions? No. No? Okay. Everybody just loves the purple. <laughs> right? I did a, I did a, yeah, I'm building a flower here, but yesterday I went to Northgate and I bought some flowers and I bought all purple flowers because, you know, Selena and we're doing this today and I used one of their one of their um, jars, like their cement jars, or their not cement, but their clay jars, their haras, to to decorate my put my flowers in. And look how pretty it came out. Do you like that, Tere? That is so beautiful. Right, and I bought the I bought the hara there and. I bought the flowers there and it's so easy to just come home and put them in your in your hara and it's so pretty in the kitchen. It makes people happy or you can do it for Mother's Day. I know. Yes, Mother's Day is right around the corner. I know. I know. I'd be so happy if I woke up and my son had made me that. <laughs> I'd be like, wow, Max. Okay. Okay, so what is it? Right? The jar is so cool. The 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 hara, the the pitcher, the clay pitcher, they're just it's such a cool thing to do. Okay, let's see. Here we go. I made that last one a little wonky, but that's okay. So, and then you can just put them together. Let me speed up. I'm talking too much. Are we doing okay on time today? I think we are. Okay. So next weekend, next Saturday, we have another kids class, right? Yes. It's our last. It is, no, it's not our. Yeah, it's our last Dia del Niño class. Um, and we're going to do a super torta. Wow. I might have to tune in for that. I love a super torta. I love a torta, period. Yeah. The more bolillos I could get in my life, the better. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I wasn't sure if if it was a, a superhero name or if it was a torta, <laughs> you know, sort of funny, right? Who doesn't love a good torta? I just, I'm, I'm, I go weak in the knees for a good torta, for sure. Me too. And I know that this one's going to be really crazy. So. Is it? Wow. Yeah, it's it's amazing the the super tortas. But yeah, that's a fun class, and they'll be doing a giveaway there too, right? That is. Yes. So I'm excited not only about the giveaways because um, also if you go to northgatemarket.com on their uh, Dia del Niño landing page, you could find out how you could win money for your school and books for your school and and celebrate your teacher for. Uh, National Teacher Appreciation Week. So 
um, go to northgatemarkets.com, find out more, and maybe you could win the money for the $2,000 for your school. Yeah, that's amazing. That is amazing. Okay, I'm going to show you where I'm at with my little flower now. Um, it's taking too much time, so I'm just going to go ahead and bake this one flower, and we're going to put this in the oven for 10 minutes. So let me go ahead and put it in. Let's set my timer. Okay. I put I put the cookie in at 400 degrees, by the way, just so that you know, you, you know, if you didn't catch that at the top, 400 degrees, 10 minutes, cookie goes in. Let me wash my hands and then we're gonna make our abuelita chocolate ganache. You always have to wash your hands in between so that you don't cross contaminate things. That who wants to work with dirty hands anyway? Not I. Before I before I start talking about our chocolate ganache, can I just take a minute to show you how cute? The Dia de los Niños mini conchas are, they have them at Northgate right now. Like I said, I was there yesterday and this box caught my eye. Like the design is so cool, but not only that, mini conchas. I'm like, okay, gotta, I gotta get that. I gotta get that and as soon as this class is done. <laughs> okay, now. To make this chocolate ganache is super, super simple. We are going to use the Abuelita Nestle granulated or granula, granulados. Is that how you say it, Tere? Yes. And the Nestle Media Crema. And this is it, these two ingredients. So I'm going to start by just taking this lid which is super easy and pulling it up if you need some help from your mom your grandma your dad your cousin to do this part feel free and i'm just gonna dump this into into a little saucepan use this to scrape out anything that's additional i love that that Nestle sells this med media crema makes it so easy to make this ganache. Um, when I was coming up with the recipe for, for this class, I was thinking, well, I want to do like a chocolate frosting. And then I remembered, ah, oh, you know, to make to make the nauseous is, is basically equal parts. So like equal parts cream, equal parts chocolate. And instead of melting the tablet, it's just so easy to use the granulated, the granulated mixture. So that's what we're doing. And I'm just gonna wait till this, I, I turned on my heat over a medium high flame and I'm just gonna let this cream get warm and bubble slightly and then we're going to add in our chocolate. In the meantime, I'm going to measure out one cup of the chocolate. So I have my measuring cup here and just going to go ahead and do that. And it just makes it easy to pour it right out of the bag. Ooh. Maybe a little too easy. I got it all crazy. Okay. So I have my chocolate ready. Back to the drawing board. I'm just giving it a little stir. I could see it starting to heat slightly. Now our, meanwhile, our cookie still has five more minutes in the oven and 
I think they're gonna come together really nicely. Do we have any questions? Uh, who doesn't love a good torta? No. Uh, but um, I believe your kitchen smells delicious. <laughs> it does, that it, it does. Between the flowers and the cookie and this, this crema with, that's about to get the chocolate, like, oh, I'm in, I'm in scent heaven here. The whole house, you know how the, the, the scent travels. Okay, mira, mira, we're getting little bubbles. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the abuelita. Yes. Just scrape it. I'm gonna lower the flame just slightly because I don't want it to to get too bubbly. And you can do a little wiggle. Give yourself a little wiggle room so that you move with the stirring. And they say happy, happy energy creates happy food. So keep that in mind when you're cooking. Try to smile when you're talking. Talk to your food. It makes it really happy. And then it behaves. Good mood, good food. Yes. So I think it's time that we raffle our first basket. What do you think? I think you're absolutely right, Tere. I think you're absolutely right. That sounds so, like a great idea. So what we're going to do is, if I call your name, if you could please give me your email address in the chat, and I will contact you to get your address so that we could get your basket to your nearest Northgate store and we can pick it up. So here we go. Awesome. My little. And the winner is Cecilia Provencio. Provencio. Yay, congratulations, Cecilia. So Cecilia, if I could get your your uh, Nate, your email in the chat will get back to you on Monday to get your address. Yay! And, and we have are one you, more to one right now? off in a little gonna, while. What did she say? What did you so, say, Teddy? That we'll raffle off another one in a little while. Okay, oh my God! Perfect. Look at well, that ganache. Right, this ganache. Look at it. Oh my word. And I'm just gonna, I feel like, I feel like the chocolate's already evenly distributed into the crema. So I am going to now just take it off the flame. I'm just doing last minute little smears on the bottom of the pan. Just if there's any clumpiness, you can smooth that out. I feel like I live in my, in my own head when I'm cooking. Like it's, it's, it's rare that I'm talking when I'm cooking because I just like to connect with my food. So to come up with the words while I'm cooking, I'm like, hmm, what, how do I explain that? Let me see. Okay, well, we're just gonna smash out any clumps that may be in your sauce. Okay, so turn off the flame. And I'm going to move it to a different burner so because this one's hot and I don't want I don't want that to affect my ganache. And let me take a little peek on my cookie. It looks like it's coming together. I'm going to get. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Cecilia, for providing your email. Um, I am going to get something so that so I can you know my my mitt so that I can pull out my cookies. Don't burn your fingers is basically the lesson. Thank you, thank you, Cecilia.
and don't leave us because we have a we have one more basket. Okay, we have thirty five seconds be before our before our cookie comes out of the oven. I'm getting so excited. We're going to be able to decorate it soon. And as soon as I pull it, as soon as I pull it out, then I'm going to go ahead and slice my strawberries. But also before before we even get there, as I have 10 seconds, please tag us on your creations today. Tag Northgate, tag Presley's Pantry. We want to see your creations, what you made in the kitchen. Oh, cut me short, didn't it? OK, so let's see. Perfect. And here is my little cookie crust. See that? So I'm going to just put it here and let that let that cool down a little bit before I transfer it to a plate. And in so, I'm going to get my strawberries ready so that we could decorate it once we ganache it. And really, the decoration is up to you. You can do little circles, you can do slices. You can do whatever makes your heart happy. Um, you could even do tiny little polka dots all over. I like to do something that looks more like a petal um, since we're doing a flower here. But like I said, it's, it's up to you. You could do zigzags and strawberries if you want. Once we get the ganache on, it's, it's up to you. And like, let's just say for one second, let's just say for one second, the word ganache. Like, what is that word? It's so fun. And it, it rolls out of your mouth and it makes me so happy. I love it. So maybe that's why strawberry ganache, you know, chocolate ganache. Here we go. Okay. All right. I think I have enough strawberries, but usually I like to cut so that I could see which were, which are the best pieces and then choose those. Or stack them. You could stack them too and make little towers. There's no wrong way of cutting your strawberries. Just as long as you don't cut your hands, okay? Let me look for my big gigantic, uh, my big gigantic spatula, which I know is here somewhere. Got it. <laughs> and I am going to see how this pretty baby will rise for me. I don't want it to break, so being extra careful with how I get it off. Let me see that. How fun is it to make the little flower pizza? I mean, it's a little flower, so I really am handling it as so. Let me see. Don't break little flower. Okay, there, yay. She wants to, she wants to be decorated now. Do we have any questions? No. Okay, now, now for the fun part. Um, you can tell that the ganache is ready because I just I just gave it a stir and it sort of had formed a little bit of a a little bit of a film on top and look at the thickness just so you could see it's almost like a really thick pudding or like a you know like a gravy but chocolate so. This is the consistency that you're looking for. And once this whole thing cools, 
it forms the most beautiful little frosting. So just take your, your cookie and I like to start in the middle and just swirl. And I'm gonna swirl it to the outline of, I'm gonna swirl it to the outline of my cookie, but you can do the whole thing in chocolate. You could leave a little bit of the rim. I'm leaving a little bit of the rim just because I wanna see my dessert cookie. Oh, that got on the plate. Oh, well, we'll clean that after. Okay, so then just take the, the back of your spoon, take the back of your spoon and just spread it out so that you get the design of your little flower. See that? That one didn't, there we go. And if you want it super chocolatey, you could add more chocolate. This ganache would go really well on top of a cake as well. So just depends on how you want to use it. As you're doing that, I am going to raffle the next, the next okay. basket. So here we go. Perfect. And the winner is Angie Viz. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, Valentina, for joining us today. Okay, let us let us get our little pizza decorated. We're just gonna finish it up with, with a few strawberry slices. And one here, one here. Let me look for a bigger piece. Mm, I love chocolate covered strawberries. So this definitely plays to that. And Selena's super happy in the background. Okay, and then I'm also gonna add little mini marshmallows. Oh, that one just jumped right out of my hand and right on there. And you can put them there. Just decorate it however you'd like. Oh God, they're just falling everywhere. Like, how dare you jump out of my hand and ruin my design? <laughs> and that's it. And there's our cute little pizza, our dessert pizza. And since that chocolate fell right there, I'm just gonna add a leaf. You can add a little leaf to it and make it look pretty. And there you have it. Como la flor dessert pizza. That looks delicious. I can't wait to try it at home. Thank you right? everybody for joining us. Thank you, Nicole. Um, please look online and like I said, it would be really cool if you guys could um, try to get your schools to win. And so um, look on our webpage and enjoy. Your little boy is going to have a great snack. Yeah, that's going to be his breakfast. Thank you so much for joining us. Please don't forget to tag us. We want to see your creations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a beautiful Saturday. Bye. Bye. Bye.